What did you think of that when they brought Vince Russo in? <laughs> <laughs> I like Vince Russo. He's a nice enough guy. I love Ed Ferrar. He's a good friend of mine. Uh, I'll be uh, when I I'll just, I just want to say this. I wasn't a fan of their of their of their booking. I wasn't a fan. I thought it was infantile. I thought it was silly. I thought it would insulted a lot of uh, people's um, uh, people's intelligence. People will put up with a lot of stuff if they're a wrestling fan. If they're a Nitro fan, they'll over they'll be willing to look over a lot of a lot of. DQ main events that you you know roll your eyes at and you know angles that 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 change you know because of you know different things happening this guy getting hurt or Scott Hall you know needing to go you know take a couple weeks off people will roll their eyes and they'll stick with the product but when you insult their intelligence when you put uh, uh, Prince Ikea out there as a guy who's supposed to be a prince who's supposed to be Prince the singer. The things that they did, I, I'm not a big fan of. I've told, I've said it to their face. Um, I don't think they're bad people. Uh, I think that uh, think they were trying to do something that didn't work. Whether they'll admit now it didn't work or not, I don't know. But I, I, I'll tell you, as as far as this fan goes, who was there for it all, what they were trying to do didn't work. And the infamous uh, bash at the beach situation with Hulk Hogan, you mentioned something about this uh, off camera. What were you told about uh, that whole well, thing? Well, all I was told, I was working in talent relations. So towards the end of WCW, I actually got a lot of opportunities. I got an opportunity with Larry to do the play-by-play. The -play. I got an opportunity to uh, do the live event uh, stuff that Gene wasn't doing anymore. Got an opportunity to sit as a junior member of the booking team, and I got an opportunity to work in talent relations under Terry Taylor. And uh, if WCW was sold to Eric, uh, Johnny John Laurinaitis was going to be Eric's right hand man, and I was going to be John Laurinaitis' assistant. That was etched in stone. I'd already in been told relations. that. Ta talent relations. Talent um, relations. Only thing I'd, I could tell you for for sure about that angle is the Thursday before Bash at the Beach. I was told to call Booker T and tell him to bring a suit for the next night show because he was going to be world champion that Monday. Now, how it was supposed to go down to how it really went down, uh, did Hope change plans? Did Vince go into business with himself? I don't know. And I don't think anybody, only the parties will ever know. Uh, you know, Vince Russo and Eric and Hulk and to a lesser extent Jeff Jarrett will ever really know what happened. But what I will tell you was the plan was all along for Booker T to walk out of that pay-per-view as WCW World Heavyweight Champion. That, that's my little uh, two cents on the deal.